Alright, what's going on guys? It's Nick. So, I already did a cultural artifacts video, but after watching Dr. T's video and realizing I could do something a little differently than just heritage-wise, I wanted to do something that meant a little more to me than just a necklace. Uh, so, for my second video, my actual artifact, uh, I'm going to use my black belt. Now, Martial arts is something I have been in since I was five years old. Uh, the belt itself is probably one of the most sacred parts of the art. Uh, unless you are doing push-ups, it's not touching the ground. You don't touch somebody else's belt unless your instructor is trying to tie. Try, bleh, I can talk. I swear, trying to tie the belt or showing them how to tie the belt, something along those lines. Uh, it's a discourse that, like I said, I got into when I was five years old, so it's been about 17 years. I can do math. Uh, been about 17 years. It's a long time to be with one thing. Um, when I first started, I actually got involved because, and as silly as this sounds, I was watching a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and my parents watched Walker, Texas Ranger. And I wanted to do what they did. So, I found a school near us, started, and there goes the air conditioner, I hope you guys can't hear that. Uh, now, it has turned into something that I literally wear the belt six days a week. I run a school, uh, in my uniform, I'm in my office now, over there. So, it's been a huge part of my life for pretty much my entire life. Uh, like Dr. T said with his Mustang video, uh, you know, he said he goes to meets and stuff like that, has friends in it. Until recently, that actually didn't really happen with me. Uh, I didn't go to a lot of tournaments, I didn't meet a lot of people outside of the people I knew within the school. Recently, started going to a lot more tournaments, competing a lot more, as you can see by that. Uh, competing and all that kind of stuff. And I've made a lot of friends. I've traveled Pittsburgh. Uh, Columbus has been the furthest I've gone for one. They have them in, oh, I take that back. Went to Little Rock, Arkansas for one. World Championships. Uh, so I went, been to all these places. I made friends all over from there. You know, and talk about the art. And spend hours watching YouTube videos of people, you know, doing different kinds of martial arts, trying to learn new stuff. Uh, and actually it's turned from a passion into a career not a career, a job, because I run the school I'm at now, as you can see, I'm sitting in my office recording the video, uh, so, yeah, uh, the belt itself, I'm going to go over that real fast, name, obviously, four, for fourth degree, and then, on this side is actually that, right there, in Korean, because Taekwondo was a South Korean martial art. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I can see, I wear it a little bit. I've got some fraying going along, along the edges, just a little bit. It's actually a good thing. It's a good sign. When somebody has a frayed belt, you can tell they're pretty good, pretty locked into what they're doing. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to go through with that and everything, just like Dr. T said. Uh, yeah, alright, see you guys in the next video, bye.